Say there, does summer depression and boredom get you down? Well, I'd bet spending some money on something nostalgic that doesn't take up too much space would put a kick in your step. Why don't you hop on down to your local area of commerce and buy some sweet, sweet pop vinyls? Why don't you put some money back into the economy? You owe it to America! So for this episode, we decided to do an anime theme because we got our each uh, some anime pop vinyls, which is cool. Uh, I decided to go with an Attack on Titan one because I like that series very much, but I couldn't really decide which one to get. Uh, they had the Eren Jaeger, the uh, Mikasa, Eren in Titan form, and the Colossal Titan, which I'm not really big on the Colossal Titan, if that's, uh, if that's a good play on play on words. Uh, not a big fan, uh, not, no personality, you know. Uh, Eren's obviously cool, Mikasa is a badass, but the Eren in Titan form just looks, looks really cool. Um, and you know what, it's great to have a naked man that's grinning maniacally, uh, looking back at you. So, I decided to go with, uh, Eren in Titan form, even though it's a bit of a spoiler in and of itself, uh, just to buy it. So if you haven't seen the series, um, sorry, but this is in stores, so it kind of ruins a certain surprise in the series. But uh, yeah, I decided to go with this one because it's it's probably the most unique looking one of that set. So, Aaron in Titan form. Thanks, Nate. That was a very comprehensive review of a three-inch plastic figurine. And look, I got more three-inch plastic figurines. What? Ah, uh, so here I got my first one, Ichigo. I was really excited to find him. I've been wanting to get an Ichigo pop vinyl for a long time. Ichigo is the uh, main character of the Bleach anime and manga. And uh, if you haven't seen Bleach before, it's all about killing these evil spirits called Hollows. And then there's different politics going on with these uh, death gods that live in Soul Society with their their special swords. And it was really unique for a while and turned it, until it turned into a ja- Dragon Ball Z clone. But uh, it's still been going steady. Um, still got the basic anime tropes. You know, the main character is just always getting so powerful that people are just like, Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Like, oh my goodness, his power level, he's gone, he's so powerful. And then the power, it's everywhere. And he's so powerful that it's making me sleepy and I'm close to him. And I'm, oh, too much power. Oh, way too much power. I imagine, I don't know, if Japan was actually like that, it would be a very strange place. And people wouldn't be allowed to travel because all the power they'd be exerting, like, all the time. But, uh, oh, moving right along, my second sweet pickup of the day, Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon. She's, looks like she's throwing up gang symbols. Those are looking pretty cool. Also, her hair is pretty amazing. Look at how long that is. It's, it's really intricate and stuff. Plus, it comes with the other miniature little figurine Luna right here. See? It is awesome. And then I was, I have to get my hands on some Sailor Moon. It might be on like Crunchyroll or something. But I mean, she's one of the bigger badasses in anime history. She's been killing monsters for years. Amazing. She's a strong woman. Very strong woman, Sailor Moon. Ah. Oh. Nate, looks like we survived summer boredom and depression for one more day. Yeah, I think we're going to make it through the next couple months. I sure hope we save the economy. I think we did. I think that uh, $10, $20 that we uh, put back in the economy is going to gonna bring everything back back around. And, uh, you know, we're going to... A rising tide lifts all boats, as they say. Is that, is that, does that apply to this? I don't think it does. I, I, I kind of feel all fl- uplifted by it anyway. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, nice. even if it doesn't mean anything. Well... Take care, peeps. Till the next episode. And as always, stay stay vigilant. vigilant.